Hello there. Welcome to our brand new series about database manager systems. Now in this series we will be learning about um, the, the, the whole hierarchy of exactly how database management systems work and how do we actually go ahead and perform a good, uh, you know, uh, how do we actually perform a complex queries uh, queries on the database so before we actually you know take a deep dive into the, the the series i would like to give you a formal introduction of what we will be doing in this series so what we will be doing in the series we will, be, we will be learning about database systems we will be learning about the design of the database we will also be learning about how to actually go ahead and create the schemas uh, like the tables and then we will also be learning about the relation models in which we will be actually learning exactly how to create the relationships between those tables and then finally we will be learning about how to query that 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 model of that he just created and then we can actually go ahead and perform the complex queries there will be challenges there will be different things the interesting things that we will be going through so now that we have now that we know that we are, what we will be doing in this whole series so before I actually begin with this, I would like to I would like you to know that uh, when we are studying about database management systems, it's important for us to actually understand what data is. Now, a data for you could be something that you know that that is that is something that you know, right? Right now, you have that about your whole house. You know, you know where uh, your bedroom exists in your house. You know where your bathroom is. You know different places in your house, and that's the data. Now, if someone asks you that, you know, where exactly is uh, the washroom in your house, you will actually respond to him or you, give, you will give him, give him the directions. Now, that is something that is uh, of value for that person. So, that for that person, that data becomes an information because he knows now where the washroom is and that was something that was meaningful to him. So, now we know that data is... You know, it, it depends. It depends on the situation. Like something that could be important, something that could not be important for someone. So, so what now? Uh, I should uh, I should ask you what exactly is data in terms of computers? In terms of computer science, well, a data could be uh, text, a data could be number, a data could be a media file. Now, in media files, I. Uh, uh, it means that a media file could be an uh, either be an image or a video or an audio. So now, now we know that um, for all of that I've said, we know that data could be further categorized into two categories. Now the one is the important data, and the other one is the not important data, not so important data. You know, it's because the data can either be something of meaning, something that you really want, and something that is that you really don't want. Now when we talk about the important data be talking about a data that has information now this is how we know that a data is simply an information is simply described as uh, s uh, something that is of value a data that is uh, that is important right and that's a very simple and uh, a very verbal def uh, and, and informal definition of information information definition of information okay so now when we are talking about information now this information is what we need to make uh, this information is what we need for you know it's something that of that is of knowledge this is what we know this is when we come to know we can we, we get our knowledge right and this is the information that, we, that our computer uses our program or any system that we have designed or our software will actually use this information to make decisions so you know it could either be yes or no now this is the information now, now you know that there is a difference between the data and information so now we know that uh, what we know the difference between the data and information. So now, when I ask you, how does a computer understands this data? Well, you know, we know that a, a data uh, is uh, supposed to be a it, it, it should supposed to be a text. It is supposed to be a number. It is supposed to be a media file. Now, how does a computer know that it's you know it's either either one of them? So this is where the data storage comes in. You know, your data in your computer is simply stored in either a CSV, in either a text file, or it could be a tabular form. By the way, this is the one that we were learning, the tabular form. The tabular form is the one that we will, uh, we, that we will be studying, you know, in a, in a great detail because database management systems sim uh, simply form data in tabular form and the point is that you don't have to go in if uh, you don't have to go in any further details about the tabular form right now because we will simply just we're just simply learning about data right now so data 
now we know that a data is simply a file containing a data, right? A computer just simply has a file that contains the data. And then the data is simply recognized by its extension. A computer just simply knows that it has an extension. So by that extension, a computer knows that this is this, this particular data. So now we know that data is recognized by its extension. We know that uh, there are different forms of storing a data. So what have we learned so far right now? We have learned that a data is simply a set of important and non-important data. You can see that there is a big ball which has a lot of, uh, inform of data inside it. So now there is a particular part which is important for us. We retrieve that information and then we can do a lot of, uh, we can do a separate set of information, uh, operations with that information. So a computer understands the data, the way it's structured. So it could either be a tabular or a CSV text or whatever you, whatever you call it. The structure is recognized by the extension or simply the file type it's stored in. Now this is all we have learned in this video. Our next topic will be about introduction to database management systems. So stay tuned for that.